about playing this game as important as it is at TD Garden in front of your fans? How much this gives you some extra motivation? Um, all the motivation in the world. Um, game six on our home floor in front of our fans. Um, last game in, in uh, TD Garden. Um, nothing more needs to be said. Jalen, I mean, you don't want them celebrating on your floor. You don't want them popping bottles. The championship trophy is going to be here. You want to sit back in San Francisco. Is it is that enough said, or do you or Jason need to address the team and go like, and, and, you know, just kind of not a rah rah speech, but just say something to get everybody going, get everybody on the same page? Uh, it's been addressed today. You know, we already. That mindset, we we know what's at stake. Um, so, um, like I said, like he said before, all the motivation in the world come out on our home floor and leave it all out there. Well, I mean, the well, I'm Manning Seelan, it's Media Jalen. I, I think you brought up the spacing and the challenges you've had on offense, spacing the floor. When you kind of went back and looked at the film, what are some things you and others need to do to create more space out there? Um, play stronger, um, sp sprint, get up the court, um, not let the shot clock dwindle down before we get into our offense, and then get up a late shot, you know, get our pace up, and you know, play a lot stronger. I think that would, that would help us and benefit us a lot. Tim, on your right. Jalen, you may have said a bunch of times during this run that you guys have sort of, sort of, you're destined to make things as difficult as possible. That's kind of, you know, making it hard on yourselves, and that's part of what, you know, you guys have powered through these plus. Why do you think that has been the case? You guys have kind of had to get to these moments where you've had to repeatedly, you know, persevere through them throughout this run? Um, it wasn't intentional. Um, and we've had so much to learn, and we've learned so much throughout this process. Um, just every, every day has been an opportunity for growth, you know, from from not just the players, but our coaching staff as well, which is a first year coaching staff, um, our front office, which is new as well. Every all the moving pieces are kind of you know new in a sense. Um, so we all been learning as we've been maneuvering on the journey. You know, you know, sometimes it's been those those growth pains when you're trying to learn on the fly. We're looking forward to each and every experience we have them back down from a challenge all season. So we look at it as no different now. Uh, it's unfortunate that sometimes those learning curves turn into to losses. Um, but you know we wear every experience as a badge of honor. And we take everything that we learn into the next game, and we put ourselves in the position to be um, in this series um, with a team that has won and done it before. So we're looking forward to game six. We're looking forward to coming out and getting a win and forcing a game seven. Jaden, back row. Jaden, uh, coach talked about over penetrating and how one or two extra dribbles can get you guys as a team in trouble. How do you deal with a fine line between being aggressive and not over penetrating? Um, maybe being patient, um, but um, give, go to stay some good defensive team. Like, like we. We know that and understand that. So um, you, you be patient. You, you you see the game as best you can. You get your space and you play with a little bit more pace. I think you get stuck in that half court. It, it, it makes it a lot harder for you. Um, but you know they're a good team, and this is the highest level. Um, so we just got to find ways to, to be better. We got to find ways to um, to be more successful in that end. I think playing with a little bit of pace, um, I think will help us out a little bit. Right. Hey, Dylan, you mentioned the team's growth earlier. How do you feel the challenges and some of the, the triumphs this season have led to your growth as a player and as an individual? Um, like I said, like everything has been a learning experience. Um, we wear everything, we wear everything that we learned this year is like a, a badge of honor that we kind of wear. We don't let it hang over our heads. We bounce back. We've been able to respond well all year. Um, so um, we're looking forward to the challenge. Got to embrace it. You know, you know, ain't no other way around it. Um, last game on our home floor for to.
kind of embody our whole season. You know, we're looking to, to give it everything we got. Um, we don't. We are not scared. We do not fear. Um, the Golden State Warriors. We want to come out and just play the best version of basketball um, that we can. We know it's a good team over there. You know they've done it before, um, but we have all the belief in ourselves. So we're gonna come out and, and leave it all out there. That's the that's the whole intent. Joe, third row. What are you reading? Um, what am I reading right now? Yeah. Um, I'm not reading anything right now. Um, I got a book sitting right here, Forty Million Dollar Slaves by William C. Rudd. He, uh, I just met him um, a couple minutes ago. He gave me his book, he signed it for me. I'm um, talking about you know athletes and, and sports and the dynamic. And I read it when I was actually in high school, going into college. And um, he was talking to me, and he was talking to me about the book, and I'm at it, and I, and I didn't realize who I was talking to. So <laughs> he wrote the book, and I got to shake his hand. So today is a good day for me already. Last one here on this side. Jim, you, you said you, you learned a lot over the course of it. What, uh, what have you learned? What, what have been the most important things that you've learned over the course of this that you, you take into the, whether it's one more game or two more games? Um, you talking about this series or just in general? I'll take whatever's the best answer. Gotcha. Um, learned a lot. You know, learned how to you know read the game in certain situations, play with a high level of intensity. You know how to you know mentally you know be more prepared than your opponent. Um, you learn you learn a lot of things. You know, basketball is something that you can't ever. I mean, you can master, but. I feel like there's something that you can always get better at in some component. So uh, I'm always looking forward to learning and growing and learning in every experience. And this playoff run has been great for my personal growth and for our team. So um, no matter what, you know, I'm a better basketball player and still have a long way to go. Um, but I'm a better basketball player than I was you know, at the start of the playoffs. Um, so I'm always looking forward to, get, to getting better and in these moments. Um, you want to show your growth. So looking forward to game six on our home floor in front of our home fans. Um, should be a lot of fun. And that's something that we got to remind ourselves sometimes is because it's so much pressure, you know, it's a lot of joy in this game as well. So I'm um, looking forward to having fun. Thank you, Jen. Jason, we'll be right up.